Once again, you are welcome to this channel, a channel where we have a group of uh, prayer warriors, where we pray together and witness testimonies. This video is going to talk about a very important topic, a very important theme. Are you battle ready? The big question is, are you battle ready? The warfare of life is not like a regular sport where you can win, lose, or draw. In life's battles, you either win or lose, and you have to be battle ready if you want to win. The battles of life transcend the physical realm and are often more of a spiritual enterprise. Principalities are powers below to the realm of the spirit. Moreover, the rulers of darkness of this world are wicked and dwell in high places. High places could mean palaces, government houses, councils of lawmakers, board of industries, and the armed forces. Incidentally, these high places control both the political and economic landscapes of territories. A classic example of principalities and powers at work in battle unnoticed by many, is seen in Goliath's offensive against the people of Israel. On the surface, one may think that Goliath relied on his stature, mighty spear, long sword, elaborate shields, and thick hammer. On closer inspection, however, you will realize that this was not so. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 43, it says, and the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog that you, thou comest to me with thefts? And the Philistines caused David by his gods. Why did they cause David by his gods? It is because Goliath, unlike many children of God, knew that victory is neither by power nor by might, but by divine power. Incidentally, David himself was divinely battle-ready. He responded to Goliath's spiritual attack with his own spiritual counterpunch. In 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 45, he says, Then said David to the Philistines, Thou comest to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, where thou hast defied. Beloved, are you battle ready to face the onslaught of the enemy this year? To be battle ready, you need to put on the whole armor of God. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11. The good news is that this armor is very much available to all those who know their God. As a matter of fact, Jesus Christ is the whole armor of God. Colossians chapter 2 verse 9. He is the truth. The righteousness of God, the gospel of peace, the author and finisher of our faith, the hack of our salvation, and the word of God. No wonder in First John chapter 5, verse 5 says, Who is he that overcome the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Do you believe in Jesus as the Son of God? And do you have him in your life? If you do, you will be victorious in every battle that life throws at you. I'm asking you once again, are you battle ready? Brethren, are you battle ready? My fellow members on this group, are you battle ready? The prayer point for you today, you pray along with me is, Father, clothe me with the glory of your Son and grant me victory over every battle of life. If you are yet to join this group and if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, 
kindly hit the subscribe button and you are going to witness and love the testimonies in your life. And I pray and I decree and I command in the name of all, all the name that's above all the names, in the name of Jesus. After watching this video, you shall witness testimonies in your life. God bless.